Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I literally have a confession. This is a crime I committed against humanity. I still can't believe I bought this palette. It was so naughty. I was like, Karen, no, you fucking don't need it. It is so expensive. You don't need it. You don't even use the palettes that you have enough. There's no reason for you to spend that kind of money. And then, like I had it all forgotten about and then I saw a post on Instagram and I realized because I thought it was a Muse Beauty Pro exclusive so I was like there's no way I can throw that kind of money down in one time in one go and uh, then I found out it was being sold at Beautylish and I was like hell yeah I can get it now because Beautylish has a interest free like payment program which like why don't other companies do that like that's freaking awesome. Like, I don't know how they do it. I'm sure it's a great way for them to boost sales, but it's honestly amazing because it's interest free and you just make three payments, which makes buying something like this a little bit more tolerable. So without further ado, if you guys are curious, just keep watching because it's going to be a really fun swatch party. Also, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. It'll make my day. It'll, uh, you know it'll just it'll just make my day because if you've ever made a YouTube video or attempted to have a channel you guys know how much hard work blood sweat and tears goes into this so yeah I would really appreciate it but it's time to stop talking time to get to swatching okay you guys do you all obsessively track your packages the sad thing is I order online so much that literally sometimes I have to go through like my email and like make a list of all the packages I'm expecting because I already feel like I can't remember and I'm still waiting on packages from Black Friday from Sephora because Sephora is so behind on their shipping it's insane Anyway, this package, I don't know if you guys could have guessed what I was expecting, but here it is. It comes so nicely wrapped. Beautylish is so timely and wonderful. Every time I've used them, I've had really, really great experiences. And of course, there's a ton of padding. And this is what the palette comes wrapped in. Do you guys have any guesses yet? Guess. Oh, wait, I'm going to put it in the title. Never mind. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do like some clickbait and say like swatching $175 eyeshadow palette. Did I give it away now? Did I? Did I give it away? I don't know. If you guys are hardcore makeup junkies, you will know what this palette is. Ah! Yup, I did it. I fucking did it. I bought the Viseart Grand Pro Volume 1 palette. So naughty. I did not need this. And it has like six repeat shades, I believe. And I'm like, Karen, like, why? But I did it anyway because I'm a sucker. So yeah, super excited. I believe this is an all matte palette. And it is made in the USA. There's like a little sleeve which feels really nice and well made. And then here is what the palette packaging looks like it's like a little pad folio this one is cold because it's been outside all day sucks when you live in the midwest so i believe did i get the second edition palettes because they do come numbered i believe is what i understood because i did watch stephanie nicole's video of um these palettes and they only made 3,000 of them in the first batch and then I follow Viseart, the founder or whoever, the lady that owns the company is on Instagram and she was talking about how they were going to do one more batch and then they were going to be done because of how long it takes to make this palette. But I did see some people, it, their palettes did come signed where it said like which palette it was. But yeah, wow, this feels a lot nicer than I thought. It's not as cheaply made as I thought. It was gonna be I didn't really think I needed this palette mostly because like these shades it's like how many like 50 shades of beige do I need but I just thought this was so cool and just like such a great collection piece for me I don't know I fucking convinced myself okay so judge me all you want but 
If you've been dying to see swatches, I am here for you, girl. I'm here for you. I don't know if these have names. I do know these all are magnetized in here. So if you want to depot them and make your own palette, you sure can. I'm not going to attempt all that foolery right now, but I'm going to swatch this away. So hopefully you guys know what to expect. And I only have five fingers, so I figured I would just go downwards so that I have the exact number of fingers to swatch with. Now, I do own three other palettes by Viseart, <clears throat> and the three palettes I do own as well are all matte palettes, and I do love them. They don't get enough attention from me, to be completely honest. Like, I could definitely use them more than I do, but I just, I just could not pass this up. So this is the first row. I think these are very, like, setting your, you know, primer, brow bone highlight if you want, like, a matte brow bone highlight, you're going to really find five shades that are going to work with every skin tone. But I think the next row is kind of like your neutral first in the crease kind of shade. So let me swatch that for you. Definitely like ombres. There's a little bit of warm tone, cool tone action happening in this palette. So there they are. I don't know. They look very powdery. I know you guys aren't going to be very impressed based off of these swatches. Plus, I don't do very fancy like swatch videos where I like swatch with a brush and things like that. But based off of my previous experience with Viseart and already owning three of their palettes, I just feel like I already know these shadows are going to work really well for me. It's just a matter of me like trying to make time to actually use them up. So we'll see. But here is the next row. I'm going to swatch them right here. So hard to do this when you can't see what's happening. So there is the third row. And I got three more rows to go. Now it's getting a little bit darker. So it's kind of in intensifying your outer corner. Or maybe you want a smoky look. So those are the the next five shades. Very pretty. Those purples are stunning. And the next row is the row I was most excited for. Like I wish they had just made like a five pan palette of these shades. And I would have been just as happy to buy it. Because I don't want to buy their Brights palette. Because I probably will just never use it. But oh my god this orange. This mustard, this pink, this purple, this blue. Ah! Those are so pretty! I can't wait. I can't wait to play with these shades. And honestly, I felt like this palette, in the end, is a pretty good deal for Viseart shadows because their 12 pan palettes retail for $80, and this one has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 shadows and retails for 175. Plus you can do that, if you get it on Beautylist, you can do the three easy payments. So you end up paying like 50 something dollars three times to cover up that amount. So it's really, really cool. And now the last row is all really deep shades that I would just use like when I'm smoking out the outer corner or if I want to do like a really deep smoky eye, which honestly I never do smoky eyes, but I just wanted to tell you guys what you might want to do with these shades if you felt the need to wonder about that. So these are the last two rows. Super pigmented, so beautiful. I think these shadows are, you know, pro makeup items, but there there is a reason Sephora is selling them to people like you and me because they are so easy to work with. They're not overly pigmented. They're just the right amount. They practically blend themselves and you do get a ton of products. So if you're a very like minimalist in makeup, I would totally recommend the Viseart Neutral Mattes palette. It's their 01 palette. Oh my gosh, that palette is amazing. But you guys know I love makeup. Makeup is definitely one of my hobbies. And I do like to collect makeup as well. So I had to have this in my collection, especially when I found out that Beautylish was carrying it. If you didn't know that, just like me, I would 100% recommend scooping it up so that you can enjoy it as well. Yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this palette. I've already seen so many people have purchased this. Some people that love this art, you know, obviously had to get this. And I was definitely on the fence here because I do love this art, but 
you know, it's hard when you do YouTube because you just never get to enjoy your palettes enough because it's like always on to the next one, on to the next one. So hopefully I am trying to be better. I'm trying to only buy things I absolutely love, only purchase from brands I absolutely support. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Let me know if you guys bought this palette. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you found it useful and somewhat entertaining. Let me know what you guys think of these swatches and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.